Okay, uh, this is lesson 29 in TCLTK uh, programming. It's about uh, graphical user interface uh, manipulating an option menu on the fly. Uh, this is about uh, creating an option menu uh, dynamically. Now, I'm building it uh, dynamically. And now, uh, what you should do first is uh, revise uh, lesson 20. Okay. Uh, which talks about uh, how to create a static uh, option menu okay now the command just as a quick revision is tk option menu and of course you must add here this way to create an option menu which is static which will contain all those uh, items now and when you select uh, one of the uh, items for example if I set 3 opt as a variable as a global variable will be uh, 3 if I say 1 it will be 1 so uh, this one is very static I can't uh, play around with it so as is okay up to the till uh, this line okay I know some of you would be uh, would have some uh, idea about it more idea about it but uh, till here it's very static so what I will do is transform this into a dynamic one now uh, the TK option menu must have at least one item okay now if I want to start with uh, a dynamic one I must have uh, and it's better to have an empty entry okay one with ha having a space okay so uh, to build it we must have a, a global variable which is a list okay now uh, here when I say set opt2 to make uh, opt uh, the uh, number 2 okay which is uh, the default selection when it loads the application this window and um, and I've just uh, copied the list into another list option menu just uh, to rename it just to tell you that I have a list and now I renamed it as uh, option menu entries okay those are the items in this list that will be added to the option menu now uh, for now to uh, pass this list of course you need a for each so I say for each entry okay entry will be a variable in the option menu entries and I use this command inside the for each which will build the uh, the option menu uh, dynamically uh, how because if you uh, when you create an option menu okay the option menu will have a like a slave uh, widget which is or slave entry here for the uh, option menu called dot menu okay any option menu that you create okay will have for example here I have dot omn okay it will be dot omn menu and you can use the menu command okay uh, to add uh, to the uh, ready button okay uh, to the menu sorry okay uh, using this option in the menu as label to create the entry which is the one two three here okay until Rani and you because I'm using a radio button because option menu is a radio button like uh, functionality it selects one of many you don't select many of me as in a checkbox okay or a number of many okay so uh, you have to use this global variable same one opt 
Okay, I hope we're cool with this. Now, uh, this has built now uh, for me a, a list dynamically. Okay, but even till here, it is still static, sort of. Okay, so what I need to add and drop from this list uh, of the menu, from this menu, uh, I need to create a, an event, okay, or some functionality, sort of, uh, any way you like, okay. Uh, but here I use the simplest way, which is using a command, okay, through a button, okay. So this one, just the one here, the first button here is just to tell you that you've selected two. So say for example four, it will tell me that I selected four, okay. And if I selected five, it will go and select five. Now, if I want to add to this uh, menu, I must go through the button number two, which is add entry here, this one. And if I want to delete, I use the delete entry. So, how do I add and drop from the list? I must tell the uh, the added entry. here this one this value will go through here and uh, and shall it, uh, it must call the corresponding uh, commands okay or procedures here so I have a procedure called add to uh, option menu and I have another one called delete from option menu so I go to uh, add option menu and uh, we'll we'll see how it uh, adds so I say added entry dot my entry get okay so this entry here the text entry here okay it's called dot my entry it's created below here and um, I take the text within and I just say similarly to what we've done here I go and say dot omn menu add red button now the added np which I took from the text entry and set it to variable opt which belongs to omn the option menu now um, and I just for uh, for signaling to the user that uh, it has been added so I just delete the contents of the entry after I add the entry or the new entry to the uh, list so if I say like I added this entry okay I, I will copy this first and add entry now first of all you don't see it now I add it you'll see this has been cleared because of this last line here and I just say here I'm adding it to the bottom of the list okay in the menu at the bottom of the menu so this is the one now to delete from the entry okay I just say control V here I paste the one that I selected and I added the same uh, text it has be it has to be because of the way I am removing the uh, entry um, it has to be the same uh, spelling and wording okay so I go to delete from option menu which is related to this button delete entry and this is how it works now global uh, global is here the uh, option menu uh, entries list which is this one as we've said okay this is global variable okay so to okay advise the other lessons about variables variable access so uh, to access this variable outside from the procedure I must use a global okay and I take similarly the one that I want to delete okay from 
uh, an entry as we've done in the previous procedure now by, by the way it doesn't have to be uh, this way of using the text entry just to delete what you've uh, what you wanted okay to delete okay if you have some kind of other programming uh, calculations will uh, that will go through okay you can still use it okay and I set again the option menu to be the ordered option menu okay, with a deleted entry using this uh, command named L remove. Now this is n this does not belong to uh, uh, native TCL. This is something I I have created, okay, uh, and I mean that it's just like any procedure that you create in your programming, similar to those ones. Okay, so I don't want to put you in confusion. So uh, I have created it in this way so uh, it takes the list variable and the value which is here according to our work here uh, option menu entries and dated entry okay the list and the value and uh, I just go to find the index in this list okay where it contains contains the exact value okay see I use L search, list search, okay, the exact value of the uh, list uh, uh, in the list variable, okay. And then I uh, take this index, okay, which is the position of the uh, uh, the found uh, item, uh, value in the list, okay, the list variable, and I just use it this way using L replace to delete it okay and quickly right away I just take this value which is the new list okay this is the list without the deleted value and I return it so my procedure will directly return the, uh, uh, the uh, list okay containing the same uh, list variable without the uh, deleted value okay so it will be given to option menus again okay and I delete the menu uh, entries all of them okay because I want to reset it this way so I delete from the start to the end so the delete from this one to the end Okay, and I just say for each entry, okay, similar to what we've started with over here, same thing. Okay, here's our code, just make it clear, and delete my entry because if I said delete entry, uh, now you still see it, but if you select one of the items because it has not been updated okay select one of the items and try again you won't see it okay so this is how you delete and add to an option menu on the fly and thanks for watching